Okay, let's talk, uh, uh, let's talk about A-Train, and we'll talk about soloing over A-Train. All right, the first chord is C. All right, when you're soloing, uh, it's very easy to go C for two bars. And, and to be honest, that's boring. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you play a C chord, if you're copying, you, you might go. Or you might go. Right? So we're going C to G to C. So in your solo, that's exactly what you would do. You go. Okay? You don't go, don't just go. C chord, C stuff. You guys are too good to do that. If anybody does that tonight, I'm taking their guitar out, <laughs> out of their hands. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, so either go C, D sharp, uh, C sharp, and back to D. Okay. Make a line that works like that, or go C, G, uh, G. <clears throat> altered or, or a flat melodic minor or something something to take it away from the C tonality and bring it back all right so you hear it yeah and then resolve it to C a flat melodic minor is the chord you use around a, a G altered. That's right. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, all right. If you like playing two five one licks, then play a two five one in C. So in other words, for the C chord, you're playing D minor. So, um, who's plugged in? Play a, C Jim, play a, are you plugged in? Yeah. All right, play a C major seven. So while I'm playing D minor, do it again, three, just let it ring out. Again. Okay. So you're, you're right away playing D minor. Do it one more time. All right, so on that one, I went like this. I went D, A, D, G. So I even had an A chord in there. Do it again. So one more time. Okay, so that's that's what you want. You know, I, if if you guys get up there and go play the chord, play. if you do that, <laughs> you start. If you just play all a C major scale, yeah. All right, play the chord. That was D flat. Okay, I'm playing D flat against the C chord, but yeah. you're making the line work and resolving it, okay? Yeah, I can hear that. You hear it? Well, you, you want to be conscious, in other words, when you resolve it, you, you're going, don't, you, it, it naturally wants to go down some more. You don't go, don't go, you know, it, that's kind of, make it work. So go out of key and back in the key. Okay. But starting out. Start yeah. So here we are in the song. So one, two, uh, one, two, so I go. But that's all I did. All right. Okay. So you're playing G or D flat and then the C. 
here's another easy way. Here's, a, here's an easy way to think of it. If D minor is, remember we said West played off of A minor? Yeah. All right, so you could go, how about A minor, A flat minor? Yeah. Yeah. So you go ahead. You got to get out, you got to get out of key to get back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Back in. Yeah, well you guys are smart enough to do that. You guys have been playing long enough to do that. Right? All right. If you make it work, you know, it's it it's more fun to just play out of tune and then make it work. E minor is part of C major seven, right? Yeah. Same. It's an extension of it. You know, it's a diatonic substitution for C. So what if you just take it up, play F minor to E minor. So on a C chord we go. Let's go down the other way. Let's go E flat minor. Play, play the uh, the C chord again, uh, Greg. Right. Uh, play. Here's a play a C chord. I'm going to play a D flat scale. Ready? Go. It's exactly like going like this. Yeah. Okay, so anything you can do harmonically, you can do melodically. Yeah. So if the song, if, if the bass player's going, he's starting on C probably. And, and, and you can start the song off by going. So you're playing all those half-step things. Same with your soloing. Yeah. Now look at take take a take a second, and 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 I want you to do that. Play. Just let me hear you. Just do something like that. I've told you my Joe Pass story, right? The the Joe Pass story where I took my two lessons from him. Both was, was, you know, I was just a kid, you know? And so he says, uh, okay, here's, here's the end of a big band arrangement and pretend you're the solo trumpet player. And the band goes, and you're gonna play the big credenza at the end. So what, let me hear what you're gonna do. And he goes. I go. And he said, "Is that it?" He said, "Go home and learn harmonic minor." He didn't say why. Yeah. He just said, "Go home and learn it." It they took me. To teach it to you. it took me about. Ten years later to figure that out. <laughs> so what he he's saying is this: he played a C major seven, and he played harmonic minor. And do you hear how harmonic minor? It takes it 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 it, it makes a chord like that. Yeah. Harmonic minor makes an augmented. Uh, in a in a flat nine. Does a very similar sound. Well, melodic minor is flat five as well, and yeah. 
and sharp nine. So it's got all the altered tones. But, but this one isn't as out. So you could do that even in the beginning of your song, uh, if you're soloing over a C chord. You start with a C harmonic minor. But what's the worst note you could play? C. 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 Yeah. yeah. So you go. And you resolve it. So anyway, that was that. So that's what he's trying to say. You're soloing over the chords that aren't there. Yeah. That's where all those lines come from. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, over the D7 is the prime opportunity to play whole tone, right? Yeah. Because it's that flat five chord. And now, <clears throat> so whole tone, whole tone licks are really e e fun and they're not too hard. Whole, here's a whole tone lick. going up and you're going up in whole steps whole tones all about whole steps here's a nice little lick here here look at here's D B flat F sharp F sharp. You're gonna go up on it, then slide it down and go down two frets and go backwards. On a D augmented, F sharp. All right. And you drag a pick. Okay, so now now what let's play something that doesn't take you all over the neck though. So let's say we're here we are in the key of C, right? We're we're down here playing because we're right yeah. all right now this this chord what what melodic minor scale or would you use for that a a melodic minor yeah all right so a melodic minor is is kind of like you, you you got one right here if you want it Starting here on A. Play this lick. Start here on C sharp, G sharp. Play it down here in second position. Third finger here. F sharp. There, there's that, that scales right there, right? Or if I'm playing and, and I've got a C, you know, I end up here. I mean, I'm playing C, I'm playing around this A minor shape, right? So let's say I play an altered sound. 
I'm right here on A minor, so here's A melodic minor. Right? Here's a, here's a cool little lick. F sharp, E, C. Take it up in whole steps. Alternated. Three, one, one. How about this one here? So I got G sharp, C, E, F sharp. That's an extension of that other one. And now you you do it with a sweet picking. The House of Horrors. Yeah. The whole tone scale is what they use when there's magic, you see. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to saw her in half. Yeah. <laughs> Only get her off the railroad tracks. Yeah, that's diminished. That's right. Diminished. So you, you got your song and it, it's cooking right, ar right along, you know. So you're not going to have a whole lot of time for all that. So you go. And then we're on to the next chord. You know, like if I went. It sounds nice. Yeah. The F sharp doesn't work well, but. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Really, who cares? Yeah. You know what? It's like black keys going to white keys. I was going A flat. He, he was talking about playing an, in A minor, playing like even kind of a blues lick. And I'm saying, well, approach it first a half step higher. So you play like B flat blues or a half step lower, A flat. So you got this. Or. Or. And then you're in position for this A melodic minor. So I've lost control of the class. All, all the but you got to it because we're all playing now. <laughs> <laughs> That's just 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so simple. Yeah. So how about some ideas over Well, how about the some bar? balls to play at that? I know, I got to get up God, there. God, jeez. But I want to do this one. Can you say that on tape? Okay, yeah, big, big, yeah. So you're going to create... Yeah, chickens. You're going to create a, two, a, two, a three, six, two, five, one sequence over the F major bridge then to have movement? Oh, over the... Okay, well, look, we haven't got that far yet, have we? Uh, to the bridge. To the bridge, to the bridge, to the bridge, bridge, bridge. All right, so one, before we get to the bridge is the first ending where it goes... Uh, um, you see where it says E, C there? You know, it, in, the, in the, the chart there, the real book chart is kind of bogus. You don't go back to C there. It's like E minor, A7, D minor, G. So the song is like this. So, do -do -bum -ba -do -bum. You know, it's E minor, A, D, G. Just, yeah. Three, six. I went. I went E minor, E minor, nine. Russell, yeah, Russell's starting to play this. That one I know. That, yeah. Yeah. So you just, so the song, it, it says C, but that's not right. It's E minor, A, D, G. Yeah. Now the second ending, it would be C probably there. Now you stay on C, but in the second ending, now you're going to go G minor to C. Right. What makes your solo really sound cool is if you can catch that first ending where you're playing three, six, two, five, and yeah. you've got that, if you can nail that chord change, that's what really makes it sound like, wow, he really knows what he's doing. So if you want to try to give that illusion, yeah. <laughs> then... <laughs> Then you want to you want to nail that. So like, you should be just waiting to nail that guy, and that's that's where we have when you have this chromatic sound going. So then you might go. So you you're just gonna nail that. So in our solos we might go. So yeah. yeah. So Yeah. Yeah, so you could you could go like this if you if you want to think B minor B flat minor A minor A flat minor you could you could actually survive that. Play those chords, Greg. One, two, a uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm 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 playing off the, the E minor nine. When I like Wes used to do, he'd go to the fifth yeah. and play a minor chord. Okay, so if I just play like a B flat triad. B, B, excuse me, B minor triad. And now I play a B flat minor triad. Okay, if I want to look at that as an E flat nine, or I could look at it as an A augmented uh, and just play a B flat. And then, can you do that? Yeah, 
So let me pray the cards you need to have. But you played against the E minor correct? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Because B minor, you get the extension. You're, if you have an E minor chord, I go to the fifth and play a minor. Oh, okay. And then I get the, the, the nine, you see? You'd be hipper to play off the B minor than the E minor. You could play off the E minor. Yeah, whatever. The other thing that you can do is just play off the five chords. So in other words, if this is E minor, just play off the A, some A augmented, A something, and then play off the G. So you don't even play off the minor chord. So. Yeah, or a yeah, altered some kind of, you know. So here we are in the song. Here, uh, comp the chords to the song. Mm. So I didn't play off the E minor. I played off the A7. I just went A7 to G7. You know what I mean? That's another option. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if you can nail those, that makes a big difference in your playing. And it, and it can be just simple things. So sometimes you can just take, I was trying to show on this, you can almost take just chromatic things. You go. Play those chords again. One, the E minor. One, two, three, four. You know, so anything. Again, one, two, three, four. Again. Again. Just play chromatically down from something in a C. Once again, get Greg, one, two, three. I'm doing a, a B and an E. The C note is the worst note. Don't play C. Yeah. You following that? Yeah. So you want to try to nab that turnaround. That's. That's what's going to make the big difference. You almost better not don't even play on the G chord that precedes it, if it means you got to screw the uh, this the first inning up. So you're be better off going play the chords, Greg. One, two, three. No, 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 the, of the song. One, two, three, four. Playing on those That's little, place to pause, yeah. yeah. Just don't even play over the five chord. Yeah. Keep it simple. 